So the Garmin team's been really good about updating the Verb Edit software. When it first came out, um, it wasn't fantastic. It didn't have a lot of the features that we really needed or wanted. And I will have to say the latest update has really changed that. And I wanted to show you all one thing in particular, the ability to edit gauges. Now this is in uh, beta right now, but I wanted to go through it and show you how you can edit your own gauges. So you just open your Garmin uh, Verb Edit software, go into any video that you're working on, and click on a gauge and uh, they'll bring up your gauge menu and then you just need to find the gauge that you want to edit today. When you find the gauge you want just go ahead and right click it and you'll pop up the gauge builder. This is a different app outside of uh, the Verb Edit software and as you can see here I'll go through some of the settings with you. Um, you can change all the different colors here, uh, the background, foreground, uh, second accent color. You can even change the uh, maximum minimum speed or height or elevation, whatever you're doing. And then all the text options can also be changed. So you can edit all the different texts. You can change the font, uh, put some comic sans in there if you really want to. And you also change the different labels and how things are displayed. So there's a, a very, um, there's a, the ability to change even minute details. If you don't like certain parts of the font or if it's hard to read on a certain video, you can change all of that. Now the cool thing that I want to show you today and really capitalize on is the ability to change the actual gauges themselves. So what I did is I, uh, I figured out where the gauges are held in the uh, software and um, what I did for this example is I wanted to create a University of Louisville gauge and so that way if we ever have any uh, University of Louisville cycling videos I can just go ahead and use a custom gauge for our team. I wanted to do this because it's a good way to show you all how you can use it for any sort of thing, companies, personal, whatever. So I went into Photoshop and I found the uh, gauge that I was working on. It's under Library, Application Support, Garmin, Verb Edit, and then Telemetry. And then you actually go to Temp or I'm sorry, Widgets, and all of your gauges will be there. Um, so you just got to find the right, the appropriate gauge um, to choose from. And of course, you could always add this to your sidebar if you wanted to. So I pick out the front gauge, and I went ahead and opened that up. And now what I'm doing is I want to customize it. So I'm going to place um, the cardinal head on the logo itself. Once I have that, I'm just going to basically uh, place the cardinal head and then shrink it down to fit appropriately. And then I just save the document as a copy, and I go back to the new gauge that I'm creating, and I choose the new source, which is the one I just saved, and I import that. And then as you can see, the cardinal head itself um, is kind of interfering with the miles per hour there. So I go to the font and I just uh, change the font size a little bit smaller and move it up just a little bit so that it uh, will fit a little bit better. Now I thought it looked pretty good um, as it was, but I want to add a little bit more pop to it. So I went ahead and added the uh, University of Louisville text underneath the gauge as well. Now really I just wanted to show you all that you can do whatever you want with these gauges. You can create your own gauge. Um, or your own logo to throw up and just go ahead and drag it into the video that you're wanting to use it on. And once it's drug in here, um, you can change the accent colors as well. The blue and the orange didn't quite look good uh, to me, so I just kind of played around with it a little bit until I got something that I liked. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, let me know what customizations you're doing and uh, post your link to your own gauges to, uh, below. And if you have any problems, let me know and I'll try and uh, work it out for you.